Hello and welcome everyone to GDQ Hotfix. Um, today we are going to be playing Untitled Goose Game, and uh, joined with me is Amethyst Rocks. And Hi. Uh, before we get started here, uh, I just want to go over a couple of announcements with everyone. Uh, so this week um, we have a couple shows uh, rounding out the end of the week here. Uh, we actually have a new show starting tomorrow, uh, and that's going to be on either the fourth or the last Friday uh, of each month. Uh, that's going to be called Learning with Liz, where Liz Starr will be teaching us about uh, some of her runs. And uh, this weekend is the Mystery Tournament Finals. Uh, so both Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we'll be having uh, the Mystery Tournament Finals uh, going on on the GDQ channel um, throughout both of those afternoons. Uh, next week, we have a bunch of our recurring shows. We're going to have Community Spotlight at 8 p.m. on Monday, uh, Random Number Generation, uh, which goes over randomizers, at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, and then we're going to have... Uh, we're going to round out Disability Month with Even the Ocean by Half Coordinated uh, at 7 p.m. on Wednesday next week. Uh, also, the AGDQ 2020 schedule is out now. Uh, now, keep in mind that there is a new game submission period starting November 13th, uh, going through November 20th, and any game or DLC that was released uh, on or after August 1st of 2019 are eligible for that. So if anyone's been grinding any new games out there, uh, be sure to check out that new game submission period and get those submissions ready. Um, with that said, uh, Amethyst, take it away. Hi, uh, well this, hi, I'm Amethyst, uh, I, I usually, uh, speedrun and play, uh, Kaizo Mario World games and ROM games, uh, but today I'll be playing Untitled Goose Game, any percent glitchless. Um, this game has basically become a giant meme at this point, which I really appreciate. <laughs> so, uh. I'm not going to be using any, uh, there's one minor clip I'll be using, but for the most part, the glitches run doesn't use any fun clips or glitches or anything. Uh, so timer is going to start uh, when I press Y to honk on three, two, one, honk. So yeah. The, uh, so the first part of the game is sort of like a tutorial telling you what to do. I'm just going to run right past it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to open up this gate here. Oh. Yeah, wait back a little bit. There we go. Yeah, now now Goose Goose is loose. As the meme says, Untitled Goose Game by House House. The first thing we're going to do, uh, so there's a lot of our, there's a bit of RNG and cycles associated with this. The first major thing is right up front, which is, is the gardener going to be able to get wet right away? Because that's our first task. And the answer is no. So we're going to hide right here. The first thing we're going to do is grab his key, get into the garden, grab his keys. I'm going to put them right over here. And I'm going to run back behind him. And then we're going to get him wet. There we go. <laughs> and then the next thing we need to do is grab his hat. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to grab this tulip. He's going to go plant it back in the ground. I'm going to stalk him slightly here. Grab it real quick. We're going to put it in this, this these thick hedges right here. He's gonna look for it for a bit. I'm gonna grab, oh, he noticed. I'm gonna grab this rake while he's looking for his hat. <laughs> he's completely lost interest in the hat. So we're gonna go put the rake in the lake, which, there we go. You barely have to get the rake in the lake. <laughs> so he still should counts. be, yeah, it still counts. So he went on, put his other hat on, which is the next to do list item. So he is, well, next thing we're going to try to exit the garden areas, we're going to make him hammer his thumb. So I'm going to be very mean to him right here. 
There we go. I'm gonna get right behind him. Try to try to. Oh, gosh. Okay. So sometimes, uh, if you do it right, you can get him to push you right out the gate. But that didn't. I didn't line him up quite right. But either way, we're on to the next area. High street, as it were. First thing that we're gonna do is harass the small child. <laughs> we're gonna get him in his phone booth. He does not want to go in the phone booth. Get in the phone booth, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna tie. I'm t oh, there we go. I just had to make sure they closed the door behind him. We're phone gonna... booth. What year is this? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and dr uh, drop the plane in the shopkeeper's area. We're gonna break her broom while she's stressing out about that. I'm gonna grab a pair of glasses, run straight past her. I'm gonna get on TV. Real quick. Oh, hi, mom. Okay. Grab the glasses. See if we can. Uh, oh, not quite. I was a little slow, so I had to untie his shoelace again. Grab his glasses. Give him another pair of glasses. There we go. So he's going to tie his shoelace. As soon as it's tied, we're going to chase him right out of the spoon booth. Out. Out. You know the drill. Get out. <laughs> gonna chase him, chase him right into the shop area. So this kid's having a pretty bad day. <laughs> He's gonna go and buy his plane back from the shopkeeper. Ooh, who is AWOL? There, there she is. <laughs> All right, so while they're haggling, I'm gonna grab another pair of glasses for the next area. Slash get her to go a little faster here. Poor kid. <laughs> that is the only thing I feel bad about doing in this game is 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 ruining that kid's day. There we go. All right, glasses straight through. We're going to lure her into the garage with the glasses. Close the garage door on her. Now she's stuck here with me. <laughs> She's gonna open this side door when she figures out that uh that there's no escape that way. <laughs> so that's uh that's that that's basically that section. We get through the first two sections pretty quickly. Oh, so she opens the door for me. I got glasses. We're moving on to the next area. Goose is loose. <laughs> All right, so little, a lot of the next part is contingent on just good cycles and and the two human characters acting appropriately. We call this section the gardens. So I'm gonna take a slipper. The The first thing you need to, uh, one of the tasks is to remove both the slippers. We're gonna remove the second slipper later. I'm gonna grab his newspaper, hide it behind here. Now he doesn't have a newspaper, so I can easily get him to do other things later. All right. I gotta get, so he threw the glasses that I brought back over. I gotta get the pipe, the hat, and the glasses that I brought over to the other side of the garden. So I got his hat. Hi, I have your hat. Okay. He doesn't have good, uh, no, object permanence, so he basically forgets about it. We're gonna bring this over not ideal what what she did there okay. we'll just stop her from closing the gate there there we go oh gosh <laughs> okay <laughs> she's she's having a day okay so we're gonna put all three of these objects over here so she'll dress up the bust uh i'm not running a very good cycle here but we're gonna make the man spit out his tea. She's gonna pick up objects and put them down immediately, because of course she is. Uh, so while they're yelling at each other, well, because she passive aggressively set up a bell right where he sits, I'm gonna drag the duck statue behind here. The object of this this setup here is so that I can get a oh, is so that I can get this ribbon on me. Uh, but it sometimes takes a little bit of doing. So I'm going to put the ribbon here. I'm going to grab the paintbrush to lure her over when she's done dressing the bust. 
This wasn't the best way to approach this, but it's okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Hey, hey, look what I got. Sometimes you have to just riff a little bit with the uh with the paintbrush. Try to get her to do what you want to do. <laughs> so the the idea here is that I'm trying to distract her long enough that she puts the ribbon on me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the vase. I'm gonna bring it around. Hopefully she doesn't notice me. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this drawer to make a ramp back over to the other side. Alrighty, so the next thing I'm waiting for is for him to cross his legs again so I can take the other slipper. Uh, I got kind of a bad cycle here, but it's alright. Okay. Hide that, give him the vase. Okay. Good, good. Sometimes he's distracted by the ribbon and throws that first. You gotta sort of finagle it a little bit. All right, so he very passive aggressively back through the vase. Oh, gosh. Okay. So now we're just sort of waiting. I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to keep keeping her in a cycle here where she doesn't, uh, she doesn't put up the gate. So I'm going to mess with her mess with the the hedge there she's gonna attempt to fix it with the shears fortunately she very obviously goes to cut the rose <laughs> which seems kind of a very not nice move so that's that's basically the end of this i'm gonna grab oh hi don't get distracted it's fine see I'm grab a bra <laughs> make her run over to where she needs to release me to the next section It's fine. Do your thing. <laughs> uh, and we're out. Okay. Gonna <laughs> run through the house. All right. So we are we are on the next section now. The, the next section, the pub, the pub area, has a lot of a lot of things can go wrong here, but we'll do our best. We're gonna duck through here. I'm gonna untie the bouncer's shoes, run in. Hopefully, yep. Okay, we're good. He's gonna trip. <laughs> so the next thing we have to do is what I've dubbed old man cycles. <laughs> uh, the, there's two things you have to do with this old man here he's gonna try to throw a dart uh to break the dartboard and we have to pull out the stool from under him there we go that's that oh she's not in a good spot the next thing i need to do is grab this glass that are noticing oh gosh i saw a lot of trouble doing that <sighs> okay so i'm gonna try to lure the bouncer over uh, you see i'm sort of ducking down here because if anyone bumps into me while I'm not, oh, like that. <laughs> if someone bumps into me, that glass, while not ducking, that glass just shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> oh, I lost him. All right, that's not ideal. Usually getting into chase you is a bit better because now I'm going to have to try to uh, untie his shoelaces again to get back. Uh, so, yeah, we grab that glass, we put it in the canal. I'm gonna have to get back in here. I'm tying his shoelaces because he didn't chase me. There we go. Um... <laughs> right, let's see where we are in old man cycles. The next thing, I'm just gonna wait for a sec. I could have gone, I didn't think I have enough time to do another task, so I'm just gonna wait for a sec here. I probably could tighten that up a little bit, but it's okay. We're just gonna riff a little bit here. Get the stool out from under him. That's good. And then we're gonna we're gonna perform for these ladies. You do all three thing. You're gonna honk. You're gonna dip your head, and you're gonna. Oh, she's not in a good place. But okay, that's fine. 
<laughs> she was not in a good place. So I gotta I gotta improvise a little bit here. We're gonna turn on the water here. I'm just gonna run around, waste a little bit of time. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I messed up. <laughs> We gotta waste a little bit more time while that tub fills up. Okay. All right. I think we're good. So I'm gonna grab the toy boat. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. We're gonna turn that off so she doesn't go back and do that. She's gonna chase me out. Yep. Uh, then she's gonna go grab her anti goose sign now, hopefully. Oh, nope, she saw the boat, so she's going to walk all the way back across <laughs> and grab it and put it back in the sink before she does her thing. That's a bit of a time sink there. Oh, uh, she changed her mind. That's sort of how it goes with some of these speedruns in this game. You are very much dependent on what the what the people in the village are trying to do. Okay. So now we're going to lure the bouncer back over and make him chase me all the way to the back. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. See? Waddle waddle. Okay. So I'm going to honk. Hopefully you'll hear me. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take the tomato, put it out. The object of this is to drop a bucket on the bouncer's head. So I'm going to run back up here. He's going to put the tomato back in the box. I'm going to drop the bucket on his head. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've, I've done, you know, a fair number of runs of this, and I'm still very amused by the Goose of Santa. <laughs> So he's gonna he's gonna go throw away the box that he I made him ruin. While he's opening up the trash can, I'm gonna untie his shoelaces. Okay. I'm gonna make him fall. All right, that's gonna give me a little wiggle room to uh, it's sort of a safe strat to get past him. Unlock that. All right, now we're in the end game. So we're in this beautiful miniature village of the village that we just terrorized. I'm going to do the one clip that's allowed in, in Glitchless if I can manage to. There we go. Glitchless with one glitch allowed. So the object of the end game is to uh, grab this bell and bring it all the way back to the beginning of the game. There we go. <laughs> okay. Goose is loose. All right. Uh, there's our little clip. All right. So there's a few things that could go wrong in the end, depending on where everyone ended up. <laughs> so everyone is going to hear this bell and come running for the goose, basically. So. Uh, we have to be pretty careful about where we... Oh, gosh. That's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, bouncer? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we'll just duck through here. No, you're going to goose through there. Oh, heck. You got me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta back, bring it back through the gardens. We're gonna uh, gonna try to bamboozle the woman from before whose bra that we stole. Just gonna duck through there. She again has no object permanent, so I'm just gonna. gonna do, oh, he is not in a good spot. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> okay, just take that back. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a bit of there's a bit of cycles and RNG involved with bringing the bell back, but I think we managed to get through that okay. Goose is loose. All right, here's the second sort of tricky area to get through. I gotta try to bamboozle both of the women here. All right. 
right, so let's try to... I'm gonna try to get the electronic store owner to run around. I did. They are successfully bamboozled. He's gonna try to fake out. He has no interest in actually taking the bell. <laughs> So we're in, we're back to the first area that we got to, the garden. I'm gonna try to do a little loop around here with the gardener. Try to get him, get him stuck on the carrot bed there. There we go. And once I get to the pond, we're basically home free. There we go. He is too scared of water. All right, so that's it. That's basically it. It's gonna be time when I drop the bell in the pit. <laughs> Duck under. That's time. That's Eddie percent glitchless. GG. <laughs> one clip. Thank you. <laughs> so, what made you uh, want to run this game in the first place? Uh, so <laughs> the Frey Fatales Discord does a does a game of the month. Um, and the, the folks in there voted for Goose Game this month because it was new. The speed run is fairly new, so folks wanted to learn it. Um, so I took it up. It's totally out of my wheelhouse. I had never speed ran a, um, speed ran a 3D game or anything that's not a 2D platformer before. So I thought it'd be fun. And I like it a lot. It's like a very low stress speed run compared to the other things that I run. So I like it. Uh, my chat really gets into the goose memes. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. Awesome. So what other games do you run? Right. Uh, normally, if you catch my stream, I'm going to be playing uh, Kaizo Mario World. Uh, usually uh, some sort of very hard rearranged uh, ROM game by folks in the Super Mario World Kaizo community. Um, I, right now I'm playing Super Rift World, which is a very difficult game by Freakin' Ha. Uh, Shoutouts to Freakin' Ha. Uh, usually my speedruns are... The only Kaizo games that I've sped speedran are uh, Quickie, one, Quickie World 1, Quickie World 2 by Valdio, and Chain Reaction by Sweet Dude. Those are my, those are the three games that I've speedrun before, so, yeah. Awesome. If, you, uh, if you're interested in very difficult games that involve Super Mario World, that's, that's what you'll mostly see on my channel. <laughs> all right, so pl from plumbers to uh, gooses, geese. geese. <laughs> awesome, do you have any final shout outs? Uh, yeah, um, shout outs to, to Bullet Jill, who helped encourage me to, uh, sort of join in with Frame Fatales and to sort of broaden my horizons of speedrunning and so forth. Uh, shout outs to, um, especially, uh, in terms of Kaizo. I really recommend if if you want to see people run Kaizo at a very high level, <laughs> which I am not. I'm I'm sort of middle of the pack, as it were. But if you want to see people run Kaizo at a very high high level, I recommend Laser Belch, Noble Tofu, and Glitch Cat Seven. <laughs> all right. Uh, and that's all I have. Sounds good. Thanks thank you very much, me. Amethyst. Yeah, thank you for running. That was awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so we're all going to go on a short break here now before we get to the first step, uh, which uh, will be J Hobbs and Kizaron, who have both casually played this game, and uh, they will be semi-blind racing each other uh, to see who is better and to try to get people into speedrunning. You know, as you said, this is a very relaxing game uh, compared to some other mechanically intensive games. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah all right thank you amethyst um, yeah, thank you very much for having me have a wonderful day you as well all right stay <laughs> tuned everyone see everyone in a little bit